Hi, Jolly friends. I'm back again with the furniture. This is the last haul in my mega estate sale haul series. This is part five. If you've somehow missed the other videos, there is a playlist so you can watch them all, especially if you're new to the channel or you just weren't able to see them all. Anyway, I'm so happy all of you are here. Anyone who's watching today, I'm just thrilled that you are here. So I have Millie here with me today. And as you can see, if you've been watching my channel, she has changed her clothes. She was done with that little outfit she's worn for the better part of the year and she wanted something more fall colors and since of course we're in california she doesn't really need a sweater it's pretty warm here this time of year so i put her here for scale um, because the things i have are all different kinds of scales she is five inches tall and the broom is four inches tall so i put them there for scale there is a ruler here but um you can't see it from here so I can point down to it as I need to. So let me get started. Um, I have some bamboo pieces here, or I guess they're bamboo, I'm not really sure. And you can see they're all different scales. So I don't know if this is a patio set, if it was from a kit, it definitely looks like it was hand put together, but I have seen pieces like this, so I don't know if they were sold as kits, I know most of you know more about it than I do, so please let me know. But I really loved the vintage look of these. Um, it's kind of like an oil cloth on the top here, and it's been put over some wood, which you can see there with this wonderful fringe, which is in quite a disarray, but I just love the way it looks. There's like a little brad there. Um, so it's, oh, and there's another one that's kind of bent down. That's how I, that's how I hammer things in. So yeah, but it's really kind of nice. And I was actually surprised there was no marking on the bottom. I expected to see a marking, but um, now the table doesn't look too badly in scale for Millie and would make a nice, I think, like a patio table. I kind of see this on a patio, maybe of my trying house, but it's kind of big, kind of high, kind of tall. So it looks good for Millie as is, but the chair, as you can see, is very large. So I think I would just cut down the legs of the chair maybe. I don't know, what do you all think? It is a pretty high back. Here is the bottom of the chair and the sides here. But I do think it's quite vintage and very cute. You can see that it's kind of oil cloth there. So it's really pretty cute. If you know anything about this set, please let me know. And then another little bamboo piece here, I'll just put it on top here. This is super cute. Now this would probably be a nice little patio chair for my trying house, but it actually seems like it might be a little small. I'm not sure. Lisa, is that a 124 scale chair? Let me know. It's, hmm, oh, maybe it is. Well, it might be kind of big for that. It's about, it's just a hair over an inch. It's like an inch and a 16th. Looks like that side, the leg needs to come down on the left side there. Um, but that looks like a 1930s fabric to me, but it's very, very cute. So that's obviously way too small for Millie and too small for one 12th scale. So I think it's also a little small for one 16th scale, but there it is there. <laughs> Let's put the chair in the chair. And that's the first the first things I have to show you. <clears throat> now the rug that you see here is also something I bought there. And the, the things that I bought were anywhere between, because some things I bought on the first day, now I'm trying to remember. So they were anywhere between 50 cents and $4 a piece, which is still 
remarkable. Even at $4 a piece, these are vintage, maybe even antique at some times pieces. And the same things with the rugs. The rugs were a little more expensive, so they were anywhere between two, I have some other rugs to show, two dollars each. And this one here, I think I paid four dollars or five dollars for. Um, it's quite large, as you can see. It is 10 inches across, maybe it's by 10 by 6, something like that. It's got pale blue or gray color here, and you can see how it's made there. Kind of so you can see how it's made. It's like cruel or pan stitched, embroidered. I think that's the underside because it's pretty clean. I think this side here is the correct side. So I've put my other little poppet there that I also bought at this estate sale because she is a little bit smaller scale as is this furniture. It's kind of similar in feel to some of the Strombecker furniture. But uh, yeah. So I don't see any markings on it. You can see how it's made here. It's definitely vintage, and I think my little German girl there feels quite comfortable on that. She is just the right size for that. It's a little bit too large for Millie. But she doesn't mind standing because one of my friends gave me some perfect doll stands. Thank you, friend. You know who you are. I so appreciate that. Here's another little set that's probably mid-century or maybe even 1940s. I mean, it could even be deco 1930s. It really could really go for any area, any era between the 30s and the 60s, I think. Um, when I saw that mirror, above the mantle I thought oh this is a this is a vanity set because I was just kind of grabbing as many pieces as I could find that I thought I might use and I liked the pretty blue color I've never seen anything quite like this piece and then I real well, I took all the pieces that I could find that matched this th there were only these three pieces and I realized that this is a living room set, that this is a fireplace. It could even be a bedroom fireplace. It's also a smaller scale, I think. Um, the fireplace is, fireplace is just over three inches. So this is, let's see, it's like three and three quarters inches. So it's a, it could work for 12 scale. It's probably more like 1 16th. Um, it could work in 112 for a bedroom fireplace, or I do need a fireplace in my nursery. I really liked the bookend or the little table that was on the end here. I put the little lamp um, from my other haul for the for the, the last haul on there, so you could kind of see. I think this the lamp is a 112 scale, and you can see it's quite a bit smaller, but it's kind of cool. It does not have any markings either. Um, I kind of feel like there should have been another one on the other side, another bookshelf um, or end tape, another bookshelf or end table there. And this looks like it might be a little stool for something, but it's really rather cute and I really like it. I forgot that I had these other little pieces like the grandfather clock, which I'm almost certain is a Strombecker because of the way the design is on the front. I think the Schoenhut ones were um, were differently detailed than this, but it's exactly the same scale as you can see. And then this piece here, I'm not sure what this is. If it's a radio or it's a refrigerator or a radiator. What do you think this is? I can't tell if that's a clock or a dial. I, I just don't know. I guess it could be any of those things. Um, a radiator, I wouldn't think would have so many knobs on it. 
So I don't know, maybe it's a radio or a refrigerator, but I don't know why that dial would be on it. And I don't know, maybe I don't, it doesn't go that way because the feet are on the bottom. Oops. Here's the back. Um, yeah, and I'm not, I feel like it does belong with this because it has the same style of feet as this one does, but I don't know, those pieces may not even belong to that set, but I think it does. You let me know what you think. And I'm going to show you these while I have this little living room set, set up. And these are tobacco rugs. And I don't know a lot about them. Um, I don't know if they're called tobacco rugs or cigarette rugs, but they were in packages of tobacco and or cigarettes. Um, when? I'm not exactly yeah. sure. The sides are silk threads or silk-like threads. And this, it feels wool-like, but I'm not sure. It's, it's a velvety feel. And online. this one's really pretty. It's got kind of a pale pink and blue colors there. And I really like that. Good for smaller scale. This is also a velvety one. And they oh, do it says say on the back. Hello, I knew I saw it somewhere. These are Luxury Cigarette Factory, New York. Is that it? I don't know what that is in the middle, like a globe or something? I'm not sure with little plants and things. This is there. It's like a teal color with yellow. Do you like those? That would go cool with the, that would look good with the here oh my goodness so that's a pretty one and these were all from luxury cigarettes i have somewhere in my house i have a luxury cigarette tin i think and then this one here which is reds and blues aren't those cool yeah i bought all the ones that were left <laughs> Here is another little table. I have uh, I have two little tables like this. I believe that these are Strombecker, but I'm not quite sure. There are some other chairs which are just ever so slightly larger and different. I don't have a table to go with these chairs. I haven't really developed a sense for just looking at these pieces and, uh, and knowing who they belong to. But I believe this light pale pink, which is what it is, it's pale pink. I believe that is a, a Strombecker set. So that may go in Fairy's Greek Kitchen. And I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with all the chairs. I'll have to make, you know, make some things to to add to these sets. Here's like a little uh, cupboard. I feel like I've seen this piece before and I can't remember where. Um, it's one of my online friends. One of you has this piece, I think. Um, anyway, I'm gonna take these things off. I just kind of set them there to give you an idea what I was thinking. Here's the piece. It's got little nails for the handles, as you can see. It's got little nails for the handles. It's very, very nicely made. Um, yeah, the, the handle is missing here. So this is just a false door here. It opens this way. It's got lots of storage, more storage than I have in my kitchen. And you can see, hopefully, that it's marked made in Germany. I don't know about this piece. I do not know, but I feel like I've seen someone get this piece. <laughs> Who has this piece? I have no idea of the age. This could be anything. I feel like it's very suitable for the 1930s. It could also work in a mid-century. Um, 
Yeah, or maybe even earlier, maybe even 1920s. Um, so I like when things are, you know, I don't feel like our current furniture changes every decade. It's not that drastic of drastically different. Things aren't that drastically different than they were 10 years ago. So here is another little piece. This is like a little desk, I think. These chairs do not go with it. They're a little bit small, but you know, it could work in a scene. So this is a nice piece here. And it's got two drawers here with the same kind of handle. These are also marked. Somebody added some lace to these pieces and there's other lace that's been added in the other pieces I'm gonna show you. And this one's also marked made in Germany. Isn't that cute? Isn't it so cute? I love the little bed, how it's got like a little bolster kind of already built in there for the pillow. You can see how it's made here. Really nice. Uh, of course, they're all marked made in Germany. And here's the little vanity. It's missing a little mirror, but if you just put a nice piece of foil or tin behind there, that would be perfect. Oh, I just love it. I think it's so, so sweet. And a really nice size here. Some of these were coming off, but somebody has glued, glued those on. But really, really cute. Ready for some perfume bottles. Um, again, made in Germany, they would work in a 1930s style. Well, if you know anything about those pieces, please let me know. And I saved my favorite for last. Um, look how cute it is. So to me, the stove could be perfect for 112 and it might work in my 116th but the refrigerator seems large. So this is a nice big fridge. Oops. Um, very, very nice. Like look how big it is <laughs> compared to some other refrigerators. And interestingly, it has a little drawer on top. So I don't know if that's where you would put the ice. I am just not sure why that drawer is there. It's kind of an interesting piece and it's, yeah. And this little piece that I got, well, I guess that's kind of too big, but all the little pieces open and I just love the little detail, the scallop on the bottom and the little stenciled paint on it. it it's, it's so crude, but it's um, also really sweet. This piece is made with nails and I believe this piece is older. Um, I believe this piece to be from the 1930s. There's one more piece in this set, and I am going to tell you where it was made, but in the meantime, you kind of formulate in your mind, because you know more than I do, and see if you know about this piece. But you might be surprised, I was, to find out where it was made. I have a little desk also. And it's just so cute. It's so cute and it has that similar, this similar style to the other one. In fact, it looks to be exactly the same desk. Maybe it was just painted. I don't know. Now I'm getting confused now. No, this, yeah, I don't know. Maybe someone painted that piece. It looks actually the same. Um, this piece may be different from the other two. So this looks exactly the same as the other ones. And this one doesn't have the marking on it. This just says painted dresser. These two pieces here were made in Japan. And I can't remember which one has the marking. You can see they're made with nails. I um, can't remember which one has the marking made in Japan there you can see it pretty clearly but I just think these are the sweetest pieces see the nails holding them together there and yeah there is some glue but not as much as the other pieces so stinking cute I really really love these little pieces here um, 
there is a veil, the marking is here, very pale, and you've already seen it. So yeah, and then the other piece, which has a similar blue to it, I've just only now realized it is the sister of this one. It's also marked made in Germany, but it's been painted and it's been painted super sweet. I love the painted look of it. Um, I don't know if it was sold painted or if someone painted it. I just don't know. Um, yeah, it's so cute. It's got little gold details. This is painted gold and the little feet are also painted gold and there's the German marking on the back there. So really super cute and it's obviously been done a long time ago. Someone tell me about these pieces. Uh, yeah, I really like them. Thank you all so much for stopping by to see all my videos from the estate sale haul. I really, really appreciate it and I'm so happy that you were here. Please leave a comment and let me know what you liked best. And don't forget to come back and visit me next time in the doll cupboard. <laughs> oh, we're already starting off with problems. <sighs> oh, and my pen has leaked on my table. Lovely. This so noisy in my house and my neighborhood right now. Do you hear that? That's my son. I've told him a thousand times that I'm trying to film. Oh, here comes my family and they're making a lot of noise. <laughs> 20 minutes. Oh my goodness. Stop it. Stop it. that everything has to match match it doesn't I'm trying so hard too I feel like I've been filming this for like six hours oh my gosh I can't take it anymore